for yesterday, today, and tomorrow I get to work downtown, like uh, like an actual real person does, for secret reasons actually. But it's uh, it's always so different to be in a city where all this stuff is swirling around you, and I'm usually on the fringes. I don't come downtown very often and realize that, oh, there's actually stuff to do in my city, like eat good food and be almost run over by SUVs. I'm hopped up on chai. I've had a lot more tea than I normally drink in the span of a week. I've been taking a lot of meetings, talking to a lot of different startup groups and individuals. Had a really great uh, like hour and a half conversation with this guy named Sam who is just a fascinating history. He's a PhD student uh, as well as done a, been a part of a lot of different startups and he was very kind and generous with his time. He's invited me to a few other things of his so that's exciting. I'm not used to being downtown and seeing people in vehicular transports. Yes, so I, I continue to be downtown for this week. I, uh, hobnobbing with the, the rich and powerful or really more to the point the people who yearn to be rich and powerful but uh, have no money that's my life here's the thing I feel very much like a cheating husband or they assume a cheating husband must feel like because I've spent so many years at my current job that me even contemplating going out and starting my own business and starting my own venture, going anywhere else, feels almost like a betrayal. And I get it, it's ridiculous. It's just that the job that I currently work at, I've signed a very strict contract, that's why I'm not being very explicit with this, is giving me so much. They've given me so many different skills. They've helped me grow as not just a person, but an employee, that there is this idea that I do owe them something. And so to be kind of sneaking behind the backs of people and, and uh, you know, trying to be my own person, so to speak, it feels skeezy, even when it shouldn't feel that way. Anyways, I'm embezzling so much money, so maybe it's it's a moot point. In the meantime, I am watching Black Mirror. I haven't watched the first two seasons of it, but on Netflix, at least here in Canada, they have the Christmas special and all of season three, which I've heard about the show for years. It, it's really hard to get the first couple of seasons, at least legally, and um, it's probably the worst show to be watching right now because it's super cynical is the wrong word but it certainly does not have a optimistic outlook on the human race and where we're going but damn if it's not good storytelling at the same time I'm really enjoying it quite a bit um, but kind of making me slightly depressed at the same point depressed is a, is a strong word um, uh, sad about the human race. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh my goodness. So today is Black Friday, which to be fair in Canada is not as big of a thing as it is in the US, but it's still this uh, ode to consumerism that is somewhat hard to stomach, but I mean, I'm just as guilty as everyone else. Did you see that sale on shoes back there? Yeah. 